What's up Aries? Welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you guys are having a great day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all of your love and support. You guys, it means the world to me. I appreciate you and I'm so happy that you're here. We're going to be seeing what messages need to come through for you for the next seven days. See what's going on for this week ahead. Get some insight, get some guidance and see what spirit has to tell you, Aries, all right? Um, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the information is in the description box down below. And if this reading helps or resonates, definitely let me know by leaving a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. So, Aries, starting off, uh, we have the gazelle. Starting off, okay, so this week, this next week or so, you might be feeling a little bit antsy, a little bit, like, hypersensitive, or just, like kind of on guard on alert we'll see what is this about for aries maybe spirit is kind of saying like keep your eyes peeled or keep your eyes open or just like you know be aware stay on the lookout for something some of you maybe are waiting for something or like <laughs> you know it's like if you were to keep checking the mailbox because you're expecting a package it's like you're on the lookout or you're like you're watching and then there we go the fedex driver pops up down your street you're like there's my package okay we have the camel coming out as well okay so this week ahead aries the vibe so far we're gonna get into why this is happening or what's really going down we're gonna get the specifics but it seems like the vibe this week you're definitely feeling kind of restless we do have the full moon in virgo that is occurring actually as i'm doing your reading this video will be up tomorrow so the energy is still at play here you might be feeling very restless especially if you have virgo placements or even pisces placements you might be really feeling the energy from that we also have saturn that moved into pisces as well today so we have a lot of energy shifts taking place over the next month but even especially this next week you might start to really feel um kind of like anxious kind of antsy kind of like you know ready to go but like almost not quite sure like how to go about things and um you're thinking about your future here camel you're thinking about like the long-term future or plans um this is about your own individual journey and you're kind of feeling a little bit just a little bit um like floaty like not super grounded at this moment feeling like everything's kind of up in the air that there might be some uncertainty and just feeling a bit lost but the good news is that you won't be feeling like this for much longer it's just kind of a temporary moment feeling it might last a little like you know maybe throughout a day or two but not super long Aries it seems like you know you kind of get a, a, a hold of yourself you kind of get control not kind of you do get control over how you're feeling internally because again the gazelle is very restless um super super sensitive super aware kind of nitpicky even towards yourself your own abilities and the things that you do you might be hypercritical of yourself and um you know <sighs> just getting on your own bad side basically but the camel is here to kind of smooth things out so it's like things that are a little bit rough a little bit rough a little bit sharp and the and the camel is here to kind of smooth things out i just heard it's like a buffer like whatever the, whatever this um tension or stress or fear it's like it's it's gonna be buffered or it's like it's it's gonna definitely improve a lot over the next couple of days by the end of the week you're gonna feel much more calm cool as a cucumber um and just more certain and realigned with where you're going what you want what's what do you want for you know the next couple of weeks the next couple of months and even long-term plans okay so if you're feeling a little bit anxious or a little bit uncomfortable your advice would be to really get in your comforts um you know take care of yourself self-care self-love cook a good meal have your favorite food get a favorite drink put on some nice tunes or your favorite movie or something just like have like a nice chill night that's the advice of the gazelle and the camel is just like a reminder to stay patient and like everything that you're going through slash feeling it's all just phases baby right we have this like moon over here it's all just moving throughout the phases of the moon so like again um energy right now is intense we got the full moon at play and uh you're probably feeling the vibes of that so we can blame it on that you might be feeling a lot more serious but um i feel like you're gonna be able to kind of like loosen up a little bit 
All right, so Aries, what's going on for Aries? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next seven days. Show me clearly what do they need to know? Any insight, wisdom, guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the next seven days? Show me clearly. Oh, look at here, Ace of Wands to the Four of Wands. Definitely some nice progression being made. Um, to me, you, this is a opportunity for some sort of partnership, or this might be relating to your passions, a career endeavor, um, even work for some of you. But I do see like there's a passionate beginning and if this is involving another person it's very much like mutual this is alignment this is the wish fulfillment card the 11 11 card you might even be seeing those synchronicities so it's just kind of like you are you're stressing yourself out you're worried like am i on the right path and then you're like okay i'm just gonna take it day by day i'm gonna just try and stay in the present right that's another message try your best to stay in the present it's like you're getting really wound up about like the future and all like the unknown and like what could possibly happen you're getting so like worked up about what may or may not happen what could happen what if i do this what if that like you're stressing yourself out so it's just like spirit saying come back to the present be here now um so that like you don't miss out on these new opportunities that are coming in right and i do say that there's something beginning for you this week and it's gonna be really nice so again it's gonna like ease your stress or ease your fears or ease your mind okay let's see what's going on that's way too many card spares so <laughs> let's see what's going on for aries sun moon rising venus for the week ahead okay five of cups reverse some of y'all getting over feeling blue feeling heavy um positive news coming in that's gonna yeah it's gonna make your day we have the chariot cancerian energy out here ace of swords with the king of pentacles ten of wands also ten of swords Oof, five of swords you know what aries i will tell you the worst is over whatever you've been dealing with or struggling with whether it be your own inner demons your own inner struggles whether it be a, a relationship you're dealing with stress from work stress from family or whatever fill in the blank just know that the worst is over, okay? I feel that maybe it's kind of peaked around this full moon Virgo. Again, the 7th, especially when the full moon is at its peak. Um, so it may have kind of happened around here. Or, you know, give or take, energy is fluid. It doesn't have to be exact. But I will tell you, Aries, that the worst is over. <laughs> Woo, thank God, all right? Thank God, the worst is over. And, um, you know, there is a need for a release here. We have two tens out here representing endings of cycles, closure, completion. And also, like I said, something new is starting for you. Something new is beginning. We have two aces out here, actually. You know, that's interesting, Aries, because we have the ace of wands to the ten of wands. And then we have the ten of swords to the ace of swords. So there is some sort of like transition from ending to beginning we'll see what that's about here but it seems like you're getting clarity or remember how i was saying that there is like uncertainty or you're kind of having doubts or you're kind of getting in your head or worrying or stressing about something you probably maybe you were really in your feels about it for a few days or for a moment or a morning or something like that or just you know not feeling the best right maybe focusing on the loss or focusing on what wasn't working or focusing more on the negatives of a situation right and we can really get sucked into that energy um we just, it's easy to get sucked into that negativity but it's important that we feel those emotions and it's important that we acknowledge them we don't run away from them or try to suppress it or you know try and fake it till you make it yeah okay fake it till you make it great but like that is just causing toxic positivity and like struggles and like we don't need to go on and on about it so it's just like feel your emotions get empowered by feeling them right don't feel ashamed or embarrassed or be hard on yourself for feeling these things right some of you guys are like oh why am i feeling this way i have no reason to and like you don't even have to have a reason to be having the blue day or having a bad moment or having just like you know it's totally normal and you don't have to have a reason to explain it all and again like feel your feelings don't think your feelings feel them right what you're doing here with the gazelle you're like why am i feeling this way oh my god and then you start telling yourself all these stories of like well jill told me this out work today and that really hurt my feelings and then bob bleh, 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 like you're now given a story and now you're attaching to that story as to why you're feeling a certain way and then just like keeping yourself stuck in that energy rather than if you're just like, okay i feel kind of blue i'm gonna cry or i'm gonna yell or i'm gonna just feel it for a moment or however long i need to and then i'm gonna just kind of ride through it and brush it off you know like you don't have to always think about why you're feeling the way you do like you don't have to have a reason to you just kind of have to sit with it and feel it and acknowledge it and just kind of like you know push through it <laughs> um you know but it's something that you're getting good at doing 
right? You're working through it. And then we have the chariot, which is all about progress, movement, right? Feeling more confident within yourself, knowing what direction you're going down, seeing clarity, seeing where you're going, what you want. Like, again, that's that ace of swords. So now it's like you have clear direction about like, you know, sometimes it's like, if you have, I'm like cutting, I just cut myself off, but it's like, you might have, you might run into like a little issue, right? And sometimes when an issue comes up or a challenge comes up or a situation comes up and it feels like shit, sometimes you got to have a little bit of a breakdown. Sometimes you just got to be dramatic, right? <laughs> be dramatic, throw a fit, whatever. And that, like, give yourself five minutes to do that. And then after it's like, okay, I'm going to come up with a solution. Now. I felt my feelings. I got it all out of my system. Now I'm ready to find a solution and you find it. So whatever it is, again, that you've been stressed about, or you've been feeling worried about or overwhelmed about or nervous, anxious about you, you will find a solution to it this week. You won't feel like this energy, you won't feel this energy for much longer. It'll be very short lived, I feel for you, Aries, okay? Before you know it, you're gonna be cool, <laughs> cool as a cucumber. Again, I don't know why I'm saying that. I'm like, I never say that, cool as a cucumber, cucumber. But if you say that, comment down below. I must be picking up on your vibes, cause like, I never say that. Do I eat cucumbers? Hell yeah. I love cucumbers. Greek salad? Totally. <laughs> but like, I never be saying cool as a cucumber. So I don't know. I feel like there's some sort of solution that's coming in and it's going to make you feel so much better. It's going to be a huge relief. And plus, by the way, the five of cups came out reversed. So this is indicating that you're going to be moving out of a period of like heaviness or intense emotions or, you know, that kind of stuff, that sensitivity, right? Being able to kind of shift your awareness, shift your perspective and shifting your focus, your energy and your attitude. And that's exactly what I'm seeing you doing this week. So this is great. I love that for you, Aries. Let's do a little bit of clarifying. I want to know what this new stuff is about, what you're moving towards. I don't really care about this end I'm sure if, if it resonates, you went through some sort of ending or there's some sort of shift taking place, you know, there's a maybe some releasing that needs to be done, but the worst is over. We don't need to clarify what happened here, okay? You know your situation. We don't need to waste your time, <laughs> right? I'm just saying, right? I don't need to waste your time. I don't need to waste my time. Let's focus on what really matters is this new stuff that's coming in and where you're headed and what you can expect about this, okay? That's more important. So let's, let's focus on the good shit, all right? Let's not focus about this crap, okay? It's already happened. Um, so let's look into the Ace of Swords, first of all. Talk about the Ace of Swords for Aries. Show me clearly. Talk about the Ace of Swords for Aries. Why is the Ace of Swords here? For the week ahead for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Hey, look at here. Four of Wands, double confirmation. All right. So again, clarity that you're on the right path. Clarity, it's all going to be okay. Um, even like getting answers about where you and another person stand. It's like you've reached some sort of checkpoint. You can catch your breath. You can relax and enjoy for a moment. Okay, we have the Emperor and the King of Swords that just fell out. You're hella serious. You are serious. There's your energy out here, though, with the Emperor Aries, as well as Aquarius with the King of Swords. But yeah, so you were showing up here pretty stern, pretty serious. Um, but now it's like you, you know exactly where you stand with others as well people you're dealing with people you're involved with everyone is just like you, everyone's on the same page right so if there's any mix-up in communication or any misunderstandings or you know um just any struggles with communication is being highlighted for you that is being dealt with that is being cleared up here there's going to be some major breakthroughs and it's going to just like clear the road um which is really nice and again, this might be applying to work for some of you or your career. What was at the bottom? We have the sun. Okay, so again, sun with the... With the <laughs> what the fuck? What is Ace of Swords? Brain fog. See, so it's like you might be experiencing some brain fog. <laughs> That's all good. I'm picking up on it because I literally, I'm looking at the Ace of Swords. I'm like, what is this? Like, it's literally Ace of Swords. Okay, it even says it. Like, I brain fog. Anyways, with the sun to the ace of swords this is full-blown clarity which i believe that was like one of your recent readings was like somewhere in Mar it was on march reading i did for you like the march monthly i think it's like full-blown clarity so that's coming out again it's like again a situation that you've been kind of like confused and worried stressing about you're going to be getting answers on and yeah double leo strengths with the sun and also page of swords dude again I'm repeating myself, but you are getting clarity. You are speaking your truth. There's communication, important conversations being had. And I feel like all is well here. 
this is in good standing or something's in good health we have the strength card to the sun this is an energy of support or feeling supported feeling seen feeling acknowledged and also feeling heard and understood right being able to communicate right king of swords being able to communicate your needs what you want what's going to fulfill you what's what what you desire what's going to make you happy you communicating that and then you getting what you deserve slash getting what you ask for you get what you ask for all you have to do is ask some of you are like oh i don't want to ask i don't want to be a burden i don't want to annoy them just ask just ask you'll be really surprised or like again this ace of swords is the game changer Let's look into this Ace of Wands for Aries, Summer Nights and Venus for the next couple days. Can you clarify why the Ace of Wands is here for Aries? Talk about the Ace of Wands for Aries. Okay, Two of Wands on the Page of Wands. So you'll have a decision to make um, about... Oh, look, wait, wait, before I even start shuffling more, look, the Fool at the bottom, what's underneath that? Four of Pentacles. Kind of holding back from taking this jump. That's what I see right now in this moment. Again, it's this hesitation. So, what is this Ace of Wands about for Aries? Temperance reversed. Since there's a little bit of impatience coming from you. Or again, it could be tying into that restlessness. We have the magician and the devil wanting to have full control of a situation that, you know, you may not have complete full control over, right? Especially if this is involving other people. You can't control other people. You can only control you. Um... Things are different, though. We'll look at the bottom of the deck. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Cups, and the Fool. There is a little bit of, like, a lingering past energy or a bit of, like, a, maybe, like, a similar vibe to this new cycle that you're beginning here. Like, there's a familiar essence. Like, you've been here before or you've done something similar like this or, like, so this, the clarifying what this new start is for you, Aries. It seems like it's, um, like, a continuation of this path that you've been on for a while, that you this journey that you've been on for a while it's like a continuation but there's there is a shift of energy there's a familiarness but it's different it's similar but it's new you know <laughs> does that make sense it'll make sense to whoever this is resonating for okay um there is some impatience here tempers reverse again kind of representing that gazelle energy feeling out of balance feeling out of sync feeling not a hundred percent um the most certain grounded secure confident you know, feel a little bit oof, a little bit wobbly that's okay uh, maybe you're dealing with a lot of like, like struggles negativity self-talk addictions or just you know some toxic shit around you or within you self-sabotage the need to have control some of y'all need to really loosen the grip and just surrender and let things unfold naturally here but um you are whatever this this whatever this ace of wands is because it's not exactly telling me what it is because it's going to be different for everybody but for some this might be an invitation for some this might be about your work it might be a creative project a creative endeavor this might be meeting up with a friend this might be some sort of like for some this might be relating to good news that's coming in okay but you've manifested this so something that you wanted that you were nervous about like nervous it wasn't going to happen or nervous it was too late or nervous it was taking too long or whatever something that you've been wanting is coming in you've manifested this okay you were maybe impatient about how long it was taking to come into your life and like the bigger the manifestation is the longer it typically does take for it to come to fruition but it will happen it just might not be exactly on your timing but it's on divine timing, right? It's divine timing for a reason, not Aries timing. But so we have the page of wands to the two of wands. Look at this. Um, it kind of looks the way that these two cards came out kind of seems like someone is waiting for the opportunity to like reach out or extend some sort of offer to you. Or this could be you, Aries, like you are hesitant to like doing something or shooting your shot or taking a chance or you know making some sort of move or taking some sort of action you're kind of like waiting like this is the idea you have this idea you want to act on it but you're like i'm gonna wait or i'm holding myself back or i'm just gonna i'm just gonna stand here and wait for the right timing or wait for the green light it's like i think this week is the time for it the time for you to take action let me look into the chariot and then i think we'll wrap up the reading. but yeah there is like a familiar essence to this like there's some sort of like familiar vibe to this new path so it's like you know what you're gonna do or you know how you're gonna handle this or you know how things are gonna kind of 
play out. Not 100%, right? There is some uncertainty. But, like, you kind of have a good idea of what's going on or what to expect. At least you think you do. <laughs> Tell me about the chariot for Aries. Why is the chariot here? Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow! Whoa! I'm not surprised! The Ace of Wands! Okay, we just go full circle. Hangman. All right. Hangman with the Ace of Wands, Pisces energy, which we're in Pisces season. We have Judgment and the Three of Cups. What did I tell you, Aries? It's on divine timing, not your timing. And you were like, oh my god, this off... Oh wait, hold on, wrong card. Hangman, this is taking too long. I'm feeling stuck. I'm feeling stagnant. I'm feeling like nothing's happening. You know trying to look at things from a different perspective kind of like even if this came in it's like going back to that um page of wands two wands you're like what do i do with this so here you go there's this offering or invitation or a new beginning or an idea but then you're like well what do i do with this hmm and then even like a little bit of procrastination vibes coming out for some of you so again it's like Ace of Wands to the Hangman. It's like you get a creative idea, but then instead of acting on the creative idea, you just sit and you think about it. You brainstorm and you brainstorm and you brainstorm and you just, you don't take any action. You're just kind of like observing. You're just like, what are you waiting for? Like, now is the time. Judgment. Now is the time to go. Judgment with the chariot. This is the timing. The timing's now. Put your foot on the gas pedal, dude. It's, you know what, where this is leading you to? The Three of Cups. That this is leading to a lot of fulfillment, a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, and even celebration. So, get out of your own way, Aries. <laughs> Time to go. Put your foot on the gas pedal. You're ready, you're gassed up. And it's time to go, okay? This is the week to go for it or take this chance or take this, make this move or, you know, shoot your shot. Once you're rested, once you have the rest for it, four of swords at the bottom, okay? Do prioritize your rest and self-care, okay? Invest in yourself. Make yourself feel good. We have the page of pentacles with the five of cups reversed. I'm feeling heavy self-care, especially if you've gone through an emotional time or there's been some sort of loss that you went through or again, whatever this ten of swords, ten of wands is about. Definitely make sure that you take, do take good care of yourself. You're nice to yourself. You're kind to yourself and you invest in yourself. And then when you're ready, when you feel more in your confidence, that's when you take this action. That's when you put your foot on the gas pedal and you go full flown full blown <laughs> full force okay aries so that's what i got for you for this weekly reading i hope that this was helpful i hope that this was insightful that you enjoyed let me know if you did in the comments below leave a like subscribe and if you'd like to book a private reading with me the info is in the description box down below thank you for watching aries and i'll talk to you in the next one bye